in Thailand. The word for yes is that. That's the word for marrow. What is this? Prick. Well, for Richard Hammond, maybe. But... Prick. <laughs> Are all your words rude? Tits. Arse. Clear? Right, it would need to be practically So reverse it through. Richard's out. So, oh, bollocks! <laughs> it's, not, it's not long enough. <laughs> <laughs>
frame and reach out. There you'll see your hand coming to your hand. Try again. Right. Right. One last go. Don't do it on this long enough, innit? You out, Richard? <laughs> that was what I, thought you, I, thought. I thought you were going to go there. <laughs> okay, action. <laughs> 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 So once we get the rain machine sorted, we'll, uh, we'll turn over. Is that bad? I'll turn it down to 10% yeah, down. Down to 70, yeah. 70, well, I've covered the whole of the area, is that right? right? Okay, turn over. When I'm on location, I drink 100 plus. The isotonic drink for all your isotonic needs. That car going past is the man from the Ministry of something or other. Um, he's in charge of stuff. And uh, it's day three in the pools. And what's happened is... Hey, Richard. Uh, uh, hey, there was an argument, basically, because Jeremy filled all the back oh, of his truck so with heavy things right, to make the ride the more tolerable. And uh, as a result, it became slower than James mm -hmm. normally is my eye out and um, he tipped he kept stopping on hills they kept getting annoyed and then and Jeremy tipped all his stuff out but it was in the middle of the road so James and Richard couldn't get past then when Jeremy pulled away his whole tailgate broke off now what's worse than a whole tailgate breaking off is half a tailgate breaking off so now he's driving around with a tailgate that looks like somebody wearing a bow tie when they're drunk because it's just sticking up in the air treat this morning. I'm treating myself to a fresh load of clothes, but um, they're not fresh anymore because it's about 40 degrees already. So uh, yeah, they're not really fresh anymore. But, um, there we go. You see that over there? Check shirt. That is a sinus with a bandana on its head, right there. He denies it. If you can ask everyone in the world who's ever shared a room with him, does James May snore? Yes. You ask the man who's sleeping at the time, no, I don't, I'm perfect. I've had a very good night's sleep. Yeah, unlike everyone who's been 100 yards on you. My hammock was slung between two lamp crews. Uh, oh, excuse me. One Sorry. of them had somebody sleeping in it, and he wriggled a lot. <laughs> so I have a... Oh, so my hands are clean, yeah? Yeah. And a lot. That's driving. Come in, come I like the colour of mine a lot. Well, I'm not going to call it safety, I'm going to be more Buddhist about it. I've made it more auspicious, which means it will be lucky. It's also got lucky elephant, lucky owl, it's got border on it, it's got a great cooling system, everything to ensure poor lights, everything to ensure that I don't run over anybody. That is my ambition for this trip, to get to the end having not run over a local or anybody. Except Jerry, I don't mind if I run over here, but you know what I mean? I really don't want to have an accident, so. Everything is really skewed towards that, including the high visibility jacket paper, which means that, well, you know, from the BBC News readers, no harm can come to you if you're wearing that. You can stand in front of a runaway train, you'll be fine. 
It actually looks quite forlorn, doesn't it? We need a name for my bear. Um, come on, come on. I hate this bit of the day. I hate this man. No, come on, quick, do it quickly. Take it too long. Okay. It's like sedating a bear. Small bear, obviously. Maybe a rabbit. Miracles of modern TV. Yeah. You can barely see it yeah. that I'm wearing a mic. You wouldn't know. It's called the, in, the Invisi bag. Yeah. Yeah. But the good thing is, when I'm sitting on a completely hard church pew, I hardly notice it's there myself. Apart from it's ruined both of my kidneys and my spine. Thank you. You know, we're always there for you, Richard. Oh, you're always there. <laughs>
Six. Seven last time. Here we are, day zero. We've been out doing uh, GVs and CVs around uh, Yangon. And uh, we're about to head off 12 days into the Amnon. So this is the, it's the base camp of Everest, as a metaphor, uh, where we get all our shit together the night before we go away. Everywhere he points our camera now, you will see man things going on. Uh, the trucks, can't see much there, but all this stuff has got to be neater than this. This looks like a student bed sit at the moment. It won't in an hour. I'm doing everything. Everyone else is doing bugger all all day. So I've got to tidy all that. I've got to change all the tyres on all the trucks. I can fix the brakes on that. I've got to lift the generator single-handed onto the back of that truck. Uh, film everything. It's a bit of a job, but we'll get through it. I refuse to do behind the scenes. Excellent. I'm, not, I'm, I'm denying all knowledge that I was here. <laughs> if you just joined this, if you just joined us and um, we're trying to cross a river, we will be getting lorries, but right now I'm going to get the shirt and tie. Problem. Problem here is to start off the now this is odd. This is really odd. Hammond, how's that it's possible? Too deep. Too deep. This is not going to tell you the story about a wet vest competition. I won't be able to stop. Why have you stopped? Oh, oh, oh. That is a whopper. Isn't it? That is supper. Oh, uh, oh, I'm, I'm gonna, oh, I'm very unhappy. Oh, oh, I'm so unhappy. Look at the size of oh, that. That is enormous. Don't do anything funny to me with those, honestly, because I will, I'll, I'll die. No! <laughs> Even I don't like those. Oh, 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 oh. That's got a violent. 